Hi Wix community, my name is Graham Cohen and I'm a fellow Wix expert based here in sunny California and I focus on growing businesses online and I've partnered up with Wix to create a series on how to grow your business online. My series will include prospecting, how to get your perfect lead, Google Analytics, understanding your traffic and trends, SEO, getting search engine optimization on point so that you rank higher, search engine marketing, paid ads online, Google AdWords, as well as Facebook and social marketing. I'm really passionate about online marketing, and for the past 25 years, I've helped small mom and pop companies, medium-sized businesses, and Fortune 500 companies attain unprecedented growth. I'm honored to help you understand where your traffic comes from, how to create the perfect website, and to help you grow your business to unimaginable heights. So stay tuned, please subscribe, and let's get growing. So in my first video, we set, we helped you set up your Google Analytics account, and now we're going to set up filters and views. A reporting view is the level in the analytics account where you can access reports and analytics. Your account structure looks like this. The account is your access point for analytics. The account is the topmost level of the organization. Your property is, for example, your website, mobile app, or device. You can have 50 properties in each account. And your view is your access point for reports, a defined view of data from a property. You can have up to 25 of those per account. So reasons for additional reporting views are analytics will add a reporting view to a property in your account automatically. I recommend leaving this original view unchanged. That way you'll always have a backup. You can create additional views and apply filters to view spe specific set subsets of data, such as convenience. If you need to look at a particular subset of data, such as visits from the U.S., then it'll be much easier to have a dedicated view. Data security. You might want to keep certain analytics restricted from viewing, such as e-commerce data or other sensitive areas within your site. And data accuracy. This will help you filter, filter out spam or internal traffic. So the recommended views you need. Google recommends you set up three views, raw data, test view, and a master view. Raw data, this should be left unfiltered and unchanged. That way you always can go back to all of your data without missing anything. Test view, here you will test new filters and see how your traffic gets affected before you add them to your main view. And master view, this is your main view, the one you should use to read your data day to day. You add your already tested filters right here in master view. So let's create additional views. To add a new reporting view, we'll go to admin right here and create view right there. So adding a, adding a view, we'll add view name and time zone. And once done, we click create. So now we're in the second secondary uh, page here. So we'll create the view. We'll name the view. Oops, sorry. We'll name the view and set the time zone right here. And then click create. Okay. Limitations. Google's default unfiltered view is called all website data. When a new view is created, you will only see the, the data from the date the view was created. So it's always a good idea to set this up from the beginning. Once you delete a view, you will only have 35 days to restore it. So let's add filters and views now. Filters let you include, exclude, or modify the data you collect in a view. So common filters exclude internal traffic, for example. Create a filter that excludes traffic from offices. Domain referrals reduce spam and create filters from selected domains. Geographic referrals. Consolidate countries into regions. You can also do it globally. And search and replace filter. Replace long URL or codes with simpler ones. For example, replace product ID with product names. So let's go in and show you how to set up filters. You'll create a filter by going to the admin. You'll click on this little filter icon right here. 
and then you'll add the filter name. One note here, you will need edit access to the Google Analytics account. So if you don't see this on unable to do this, you may want to contact admin. So we're going to define the filter. So you add a name, select type, specify the information to include or exclude an internal IP from your head office as an example. So let's do that. We'll go and define this filter right here. We'll name it head office. And I'm going to traffic from this IP address. And here's where you would add that traffic. Here is where you would add that IP address. So you want to exclude, let's say your home office right there. Let's talk about limitations on views. Filters require up to 24 hours before they apply to your data. Filter order does matter. So Google Analytics filters are applied in the order they are set. So if one filter influences another one, you can assign an order, but just map it out first. Filters are destructive. If a filter excludes data from a view, that data can never be restored. Always maintain an unfiltered view in your data in order to always have full access to your data set. Filters cannot be applied retroactively. Any data from your site previous to setting up these filters will not be available. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned and the next series will be a continuation of this.